Hi, it's Chris Dungany, a founder of Conscious Education and this podcast. Today, I want to talk to you about investing in times of inflation. Inflation right now is all across the news. I'm sure you're hearing about it. Obviously, inflation right now is the highest it's been since the 80s. And it become quite a lot of pressure for people. Where do you put your money? What is it you should be investing in, especially with the cost of uh, fuel rising as fast as, as it has been, uh, I guess, with the, the extra crisis uh, in Europe. Uh, and, and in Ukraine and, and specifically, but also it was already rising with the amount of money printing and other things that happened during the, the COVID pandemic. And so there are a lot of people to wonder what should they invest in? And th there's many places to invest, but there's one thing you've really got to understand. And, and I wanted to put this out there because a lot of people might be thinking that investing in property is the way to go. Now, property and, and other physical assets, commodities are great places to invest on, in inflationary times because obviously as the price rises, um, what it is you have also rises as well. The challenge is, is you don't really get to get much more utility out of that because if you buy a property and everyone else buys the property and they all rise, you just stay with inflation. And, and it's not like you can't, you can't just sell your property and then buy properties at, a, at an older price because there are none at the older price, right? So they all just inflate together, you get the same property. What is good though, is buying properties with a mortgage because if you have, if you buy a property, let's say at five hundred thousand dollars, and let's say you know you owe three or four hundred thousand uh, dollars on that, as that price rises of the uh, of the property, your mortgage is still the same. It's still that three hundred thousand dollars. So that's a really really good thing to do. So buying assets is is, is a really good idea. Uh, same with shares. Okay, you can buy shares or stocks and companies again uh, in inflationary times. It's better to hold shares than it is to hold cash because. Shares obviously will go up as more people have more cash. They don't want to hold cash. They're going to put it in shares. The challenge is, as many companies are going to face a lot of challenges because if their inputs rise, maybe their uh, it squeezes their profits, and so maybe the, the companies you buy aren't as profitable uh, as as you once hoped. And and again, uh, similar to with the properties, is the shares rise at the same place as as the economy? You haven't really got a head now. Instead of just buying shares, you might look to buy businesses. Now, one of the businesses you don't want to buy is businesses that have a lot of, uh, of inputs. So if they have to use a lot of capital uh, consistently to be able to grow their business, you know that they're in the food and beverage industry or something like that, where they're constantly always having to buy goods. But it's going to be very hard uh, to make money in an inflationary time if as all the goods are rising, they have to keep on trying to rise their prices. Think about a cafe or, or something like that. Uh, obviously. Uh, the price of, of uh, the, the gas and the petrol and everything to bring the goods to you is increasing, increasing your inputs, your staff uh, are wanting to get paid more. And at the same time, you're trying to balance that out by increasing the amount you're charging for a cup of coffee or, you know, a croissant or whatever. And trying to make that work is a very, very difficult thing. So, you know, businesses who have a lot of inputs aren't, aren't the best. But here's, here's something that I think is really interesting. Businesses that uh, are able to have um, pricing power who have already spent money. So if they've already spent their R&D and they've spent it with um, pre-inflation uh, prices to, to purchase and create their systems, as the price rises, if they have pricing power, can adjust their prices and make a lot of money. I just saw Netflix increase uh, you know, their subscription rate. I've seen Zoom, which I'm actually recording this on, increase their subscription rate. And some of these companies have already spent the money so they spent it in with, with all the old uh, pre-inflation money, and now they're going to receive money at the inflated prices. So it gets you, you know, really thinking, doesn't it, in these times? And I think, you know, property is a, is a very good, uh, a good option. Many property markets, however, are already heavily overpriced. And, you know, at some point, you know, possibly there's going to be a correction. I think it's very interesting to think about the market and, and the world is maybe we're not going to have a downward crash. Maybe the crash is actually going to be an upward crash where, uh, inflation is going to just mean that we don't really realize that the crash has already happened, but we just can't buy the same amount of things that our money used to buy, which is a very interesting thing. Now, here, here's the point that I do want to make. There is one place that um, you can invest and you're going to get the best return. And, and it's, it's a very simple one. It's actually investing in you. And, and I know that's simple, but, but here's, here's, hold, hold this thought for a second. If money is going to only get uh, you know, less valuable, you take money and, and today, you spend it on an education, you spend it on learning something, okay? Then as the inflation rises, you've spent that money with the old, under the old uh, prices, then you can come and earn at a higher level. 
You see that? So the one place that you can always ensure that you're going to get through inflationary times is to invest in your own skills. I believe this. You're only one skill away from whatever your next goal is. And, and that's it, all it is. And if you can just think, okay, what is it the next thing I want to achieve? And what skill do I need to achieve that? And, and then go and obsess about trying to figure out that skill. Use your money right now. The worst thing you can be doing right now is being holding on to cash. Holding on to cash through inflationary times, that cash is just going to decrease again and again and again. And inflation is actually quite a big deal at the moment. You know, I, I guess uh, in the, they're reporting sort of 7% inflation. But, you know, inflation is personal, depending on what it is that you want to purchase. If you do a lot of driving, your inflation is well above uh, 7%. If you wanted to buy a property here in Australia, your inflation is well above uh, that 7%, well above, you know, 20, 30% inflation. Meaning if you had $100,000 saved a year ago, that same $100,000, you know, if you think about it in terms of buying a property, might only now be worth $70,000. Like it's, it's pricing power has dropped. Holding cash is a really bad idea and in inflationary times because it just decreases in value. So what, what I suggest that you do is think about what skills and knowledge can you be investing in knowing that you will take that skills and knowledge with you to whichever place that you arrive at and then earn later at uh, the inflationary prices, you see? If you, can, if you can find ways to turn yourself, you are your own asset, turn yourself into somebody that can earn, you know, from being able to only earn $5,000 a month, if you can invest in skills and then you can now earn $10,000 a month for 15 or 20, if you can invest, that ROI is massive, absolutely massive. And so therefore I've come to the conclusion that in inflationary times, the best thing that you can do is invest in yourself and come out the other side as someone that can command, you know, as a percentage of, of income, a much, much, much higher percentage uh, can add a huge more uh, amount, a huge more amount. That's not very good, good way to explain. A lot more uh, value to the world, and you can ask for a lot more in return. So I hope that helped. Really, really, really get that. You're only one skill away, or two skills away, or three skills away from what it is you want to do. And whatever challenge or frustration you're having right now, there is something you just need to learn to do. And I'll give you an example. Uh, for me, uh, you know, through our company and our company's kind of stalled out, stalled out about the twenty million dollar about about the $20 million mark, and I didn't know what to do next. And, and I looked at my history and I realized, okay, what did I do every time I needed to shift? And it was invest in the next skill, understand the next thing. Last two months, I've invested like crazy. I put $65,000 into a mastermind. I bought three different courses over $20,000 uh, in total because I know that right now I need to invest in me to get the next skill to take the company from 20 million to 100 million and then to go even further will be the, whatever the next skill is. And I think it's a really good way to look at it. You know, first off, I learned. Uh, you know, how to build a product. And then I learned how to sell a product. Then I learned how to present to groups. And then I learned how to market. And then I learned how to use Facebook ads. And then I learned how to lead a team. And then I learned how to hire. And every time it was just another skill, another skill, another skill, another skill, another skill. And if I could go back and uh, spend in, uh, you know, money way back then and now earn in the inflationary money, uh, you guys get it. It's a very big return on investment. So, uh, hey, subscribe to this channel if you liked it. Share this video out. Uh, and I hope that that helped uh, you make some decisions around what to do with your investments uh, right now in this inflationary time. Bye for now.